Well, a highly contagious citrus disease has been confirmed in New Orleans, and homeowners with citrus trees are urged to be on the lookout for it. Toby Blanchard reports on the symptoms of citrus canker and what you can do if you suspect your citrus trees have the disease. LSU Act Center County agents and Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry personnel are ready to respond to a potential outbreak of the disease citrus canker. Citrus canker affects all varieties of citrus and there are no measures that can prevent it. Raj Singh, an LSU Act Center plant scientist, said the disease can infect all young parts of the plant. Anyone with a citrus tree needs to be aware of the symptoms. On the leaves, it produces the symptoms start as small raised blisters and that with time get bigger. Okay, And then uh, they have uh, water soaking surrounding around it, which is, which is surrounded by yellow halo. The lesions appear on both sides of the leaves. Similar lesions will also show up on the fruit and twigs, but without the yellow halo. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service will confirm any incidences of the disease. Commercial citrus growers and homeowners are strongly advised not to move or clip a sample from a tree suspected of having the disease. We want them to take pictures. We'll send those pictures in. We'll get it to where the USDA inspectors will come out and they'll inspect the tree to see if they actually have the disease. Citrus canker is caused by a bacterial pathogen and can move by wind or by materials infected with or exposed to the disease coming in contact with citrus plants. Singh said the disease does not affect the internal quality of the fruit, but a fruit with lesions on it is not marketable. Eventually, an infected tree will stop producing fruit. It doesn't kill the tree, okay? but then it's the general decline of the tree. You got defoliation, you got twig dieback, and then the blemish fruit. Trees infected with citrus canker will be destroyed, and growers should wait two years before planting a citrus tree in that area. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Citrus canker has not been seen in Louisiana since the 1940s. If you would like more information about the disease, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org or the LSU Ag Center office in your parish. Still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, it might just be frozen water topped with flavored water, but it's the summer treat that childhood memories are made of. Kristen Oaks has the history of the snowball. The Ag Minute is coming up. Stay with us.